Good day, guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Do like, share, and subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel. This one cubic metal burger system will give you minimum of three hours cook daily. Yes, minimum of three hours cook daily. So in most cases, I prefer using cow dung, but any dung you use is very okay. It's not only cow dung you can use. You can also use other dung like pig ripple. You can use poultry waste. You can use any organic material. Once it is biodegradable, it will work. The another advantage of using our burger system is that the lifespan is within 10 to 15 years. The thickness of this drum is 4 mm. Yes, the thickness is 4 mm. And you can see the hose we are using is a confirmed LPG hose. So very strong. Yeah, very strong. Very strong. So I would advise that when you want to design your own burger system, make sure you are using quality material. So this will not allow your, your gas to escape. This is my cow dunk. The fresh cow dung. So when feeding your power gas system, make sure you use fresh cow dung. It is fresh. It is fresh. So I'm using that for my power gas system. So this is me here mixing my cow dung with water and mixing it very well. Uh, mixing it appropriately so that there will not be coagulation or blockage of uh, my inlet pipe and my outlet pipe so i will also endeavor you to mix your dung well with water as you are seeing me now in the video i'm mixing my cow dung with water to make it very 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 thick and there will not be anything like slump on it so this is me feeding my burger system via my inlet pipe so you need to make it very watery you need to make it very watery so that it should be entering the inlet pipe and there will not be coagulation or blockage. Make sure your mixture of your cow dunk with water, uh, make sure it is very, 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 very wetry. Make sure it is very, very wetry so that um, the dunk will be, the mixture of it will be entering the system conveniently and there will not be blockage in it. I'm doing the review of my one cubic meter burger system which is approximately 1,000 liter burger system. So I'm using an IBC tank. So this is the IBC tank here. So this is an IBC tank. So this is my inlet pipe. This is my inlet pipe. As you can see, this is my inlet pipe. This is for uh, putting in my organic waste. This is my inlet pipe. This is my outlet pipe. This is where the used organic material will come out from. This is my outlet pipe. And this is my gas outlet pipe. This is where the gas generated will come out from. So, uh, the purpose of using two knob here is that uh, the system must be very tight. So, and I don't want any air to come in. So, that's why I used two air valve for uh, the gas outlet pipe. The inlet pipe consists of a 2 to 4 inches socket, 2 inches ball valve, and 2 inches pipe, 2 inches elbow, and I have a 2 inches back knot here. I've used uh, a sealant to seal it up. So that it will be airtight. So this is the inlet pipe. This is the inlet pipe. In the outlet pipe side, I used a Y junction um, fitting, an angle 45 fitting, a 2 inches air valve, 2 inches elbow, and a two inches back knot. I've also sealed up this place, this inlet pipe at the front, so that there will be airtight. So uh, the used dung will flow out from here. So once I open this tap, once I open this air valve, it will flow up 
and to come out here. So this is the outlet pipe. So this is a vent here to see this is a vent here to see the performance of the burger system when the dung is coming out. I mean when the outlet pipe is open. So this is it. So uh, this is the gas outlet site. So this is the cover of the the cover of the tank, the IBC tank. So this is it, and these are outlet pipe here. So um, we've used a half inches pipe. You can see this is a gas nipple, also called a gas holder. Then uh, this is uh, the clip, and this is the LPG hose for transferring the gas from the tank to the purification channel. So this is the first purification channel. So the gas come the gas comes from the biodigester system into the purification channel. Once this valve are open, so the gas flow through into this channel. So this is the water scrubber. This water scrubber it helps in removing the impurities that will be generated um, while producing um, our gas. So you see the water is inside. This is the water scrubber. Then this is the customized uh, steel scrubber and the other impurities uh, scrubber. So this is how it comes from. So this is this is where it comes out from. So make sure all these places are airtight so that the burger system will work effectively. So this is the output side. So from this side now, this is a T-junction. As you can see, you can see the tank is rising. It means a burger is forming. As you can see the tank is rising. The tank is rising. So it means a burger is forming. This is my burger storage bag. This is my burger storage bag. I will be changing it to the standard storage bag a 500 liter storage bag once my system starts producing gas so for now i'll be using this uh tube to store my gas once my gas system starts producing gas i will change it to the standard 500 liter power gas bag an oplet at the other side the downside so at this place, I use a 3 inches coupler. I used a, th a 3 inches to 1 inches socket here, as you can see. And this is my 1 inch air valve. So, in case I want to drain the water in the burger system, it's very easy for me to drain it through here. If I want to do maintenance on my burger system, once I open this knob here, the water flows out. So, this is the review of my Makubik Mita Burger system. For more videos on renewable energy discipline, uh, such as Burger solar in installation, solar power bank, solar generator, and lots more, subscribe to our channel for more and turn on the notification bell. This will notify you anytime we drop new video. Uh, thank you. And thanks for subscribing to our YouTube channel. So uh, come to our YouTube channel for more videos on renewable energy discipline. We are here to give you the best of renewable energy discipline on our YouTube channel. Thanks.